So finally, iOS 12.4, the official version, finally came out. We had the all the betas. And actually, for this specific iOS version, I bought a whole new iPhone 6S, even though I know it looks the same. It's a different color. I bought a whole different one so I can make these final iOS 12 reviews and do some final comparisons because I knew 12.4 was going to be a crazy update that I had to talk about on all my devices which I normally do anyway, but this iOS version is pretty cool because on the iPhone 6, which is the previous version of this one, and the iPhone 5S, it's actually the last version of iOS that's potentially going to be supported on it. Now, Apple could pull an iPhone 4S and 5 where they can just push random update out of nowhere like they did today. But as of right now, that's where we're standing at. And this update came out around 400 megabytes on my iPhone 6S. It could be a little bit different on yours. I was coming from 12.3.1. If you're coming from, I think, iOS 13 betas, then it might be a little bit different. If you're coming from iOS 11, it could be different as well. But on 12.3.1, going up to iOS 12.4, I had about a 400 megabyte update. So this update, believe it or not, didn't really bring too many crazy features or crazy things like that. It was mostly just a stability thing and kind of more so an ending point for the 6, 5S, and 6 Plus. But it did bring a couple features, which might be entertaining and cool for you. Now, the main thing is wireless data transfer. So if you want to go and you want to update your iPhone 6S, let's say to an iPhone 8 or 10S or whatever, you can go and actually transfer the data wirelessly, which I thought you could have done that before, but I guess not. So instead of doing an iTunes backup and restoring that way, you can now transfer all your information from one iPhone to another, which is really, really cool and could be super, super enticing for somebody to actually go and start updating their phones now and going to a different one because now they kind of remove that problem of going to update your device and having to transfer all the settings and figure out what settings were which and all that stuff. So now you can just go bring all your information to a different device, which is really cool. Now Apple News did get updated as well, but honestly, I don't really think anybody, I said this in another one that like, yeah, it's cool and stuff. I've never used Apple News ever before in my life, but I know some of you guys might. So that did get an update as well, which is cool if you guys are into it. Now, another cool thing, and this is probably the last coolest feature of iOS 12.4 is that it now did bring Apple Wallet support for the Apple Card. So whenever that does come out, you're going to be set, which is really, really cool because in case somebody has any need to go get an Apple Card or something, they'll have that kind of capability, which is going to be really cool. So in that sense, I mean, it didn't really future-proof it in any way, but it did kind of help out in my opinion. That's kind of where all those features kind of end at. There's really not too much more going on after that. Now we did run a benchmark and on iOS 12.3.1, I honestly don't even remember what I got, but on 12.4, this is the multi-core score I got, which is 147,243, which is a pretty respectable score. And to show you actually for my iPhone 7 early on, which was just on Wednesday, I had a multi-core score of 140,000. So technically speaking, the iPhone success that I have now is actually technically on paper faster than my iPhone 7. Now I will test it out and kind of go further from there. But on all my devices, pretty much, I've only seen the multi-core score go up, which is a really good thing. So ultimately, for everyone who's out there on the iPhone 6S, I would definitely recommend updating. I didn't really have any problems updating or anything like that. Battery life and overall performance should stay intact, like I said, but performance might be a little bit better. But I will catch you guys up in a couple days to tell you guys how that's been. I might compare it to iOS 13 too, I honestly don't know. If you're waiting for a jailbreak, then I'd probably recommend staying where you're at. If you're on 12.3 or something, obviously stay there. There should be a jailbreak out in a couple months, maybe less than two months. But on 12.4, that's probably the furthest jailbreak that's going to be out. So obviously stay where you're at if you want a jailbreak. But that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything, leave it down in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that'll mean so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count. So it'll mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are down in the description. Only so much if you guys could check those out too. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.